फरमाई बनी को तो वे फरमाए फरमा को नेता हो कबीर बुधार में को हवाई को तो खुला हो लामारी के तापों के तातों ने बन तो बोल गए मु पस पस मार मार के तार ताऊ फरमा के ताऊ हमें तो पस पसी के लोग मुझे सुनाते हैं Today doesn't seem so blessed, but um, nonetheless, I uh, thank Gassi and the team uh, for the opportunity again to stand in front of you guys and uh, share the word of God. Um, just to carry on, but, um, can we all turn to Romans tra- chapter tw- uh, 12? Sorry, chapter 12, verse 2. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Very well known verse. That's all that. Sweet, and it goes. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. Who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down on the right hand of the throne of our God. Sorry. I'm just going to read another version from my phone. There it goes. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. And do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may prove what the, what the will of God is, that which is good and acceptable and perfect. Sweet. Uh, the title of the message today is called Mental Conformity. Mental Conformity. The message uh, that I want to share today, it's, um, it's like a little introduction or a raising of awareness to the end times. And I know as youth members and as Christians, a lot of people don't like hearing about the end times. That's like a topic that everybody kind of brushes aside. Like, who wants to hear about that stuff anyway? You know what I mean? Like, well, when Mika came around and she said, we are in the last pages of our time. I don't know how you guys reacted, but I was like, no! Like, I know Christians are not supposed to react in that way, but I did. To be honest, that's how I reacted. I was like, no. And the reasons why I was like, how about my goals? How about my plans? How about my children? I don't have any yet, but how about my children? How about my grandchildren? How about my 10 years of blessing? I've only had two or three. I want the other seven too. And if we're talking end times, I don't want to listen to that because my goals and my plans are still like, still coming. And as youth members, you know, we have a long future ahead of us. I know Nikki's laughing at me. <laughs> but like, as youth members, we have like a long future in front of us. Things to expect, things that we want, we need, and we're striving for. And talking end times, nobody wants to listen to that. I don't want to hear about burning stuff. I don't want to hear about the destruction of other nations. I don't want to hear that. I just want to hear about my 10 years of blessing. Like, that was the reaction that I had in, inside my heart, to be honest. When Vika said we were in the last pages, I was like, I'm not even married yet, bro. And like, 
<laughs> haven't done all those things, I haven't jumped out of a plane, haven't did skydiving, even though I don't fit the weight, but it's all good. There are many things. And I came to the conclusion that this is the mental state that the devil wants us to be in. Make us cling to second best. He shows us all of this, the world. He shows you your dreams, as he did to Jesus. He showed him all the things that he, a man could want. You know, power, money, wealth. Things that we strive for these days. And then we end up settling for that second best. In your eyes, or in your mind, what does success look like to you? Lavish job, a lot of money. Like, what's success to you? Like mentally in your brain. Like, is it getting that mean job? Is it getting that? Is it finding the cure for cancer? I, I don't know. It's, it's something impossible sometimes. Like for me, I, I dream to make a movie someday, like a full action epic movie, about three and a half hours long. Amen. Guess who's starring? <laughs> but I'm leading to, I'm leading towards my topic. I'm leading towards my topic. Like, see how, how good and it feels like, how, how cool it is when Satan puts all these pictures in your mind, like what you will achieve or what you're gonna get, and then what you're gonna miss out on if God comes tomorrow, and then you're not gonna get the rest of your ten years of blessing. Like, and the reason why I brought uh, all, all this up is because we have to be aware. Like, there, there's a saying that says, um, ignorance is bliss. Like, as long as you don't know about it, it's all good. But, when Vika said that, uh, when the end times, I did a bit of research myself. And she's right. She's definitely right. All the evidence points toward that, that direction. Yeah. Yeah. And it's scary. And it's scary how the world is now. What I mean about mental conformity is how the world just changed your mind and you don't know. How they make things, they say good is bad now. Like when you ask somebody, oh, that was pretty bad, dogs. <laughs> like, you know how opposite we're getting these days, you know? The devil is tricky. All of a sudden, you're conforming. You know? I, I don't like to bring this topic up, but like, um, gays, lesbians, bisexual, or whatnot. Like, I know that these topics are, but there is a part of that society that are fighting for their rights to be gay, lesbians and whatnot. But there is another half, there is a pack behind it, but there's another half of them that fight to change our Bible. I don't care if you're gay or you're lesbian or whatever, that's your choice. I just hate the sin and I hate that people use that to change and edit my Bible. Wake up guys. Mental conformity happens and we don't even know. You know, social media and that, they compact on these issues and they make them normal for you. Yeah. One of these days you're going to wake up and you're going to say, yeah, that's pretty normal to feel like, feel love for another man. You know, like I said before, the devil plays games and it's the game of ventures. Yeah. He compromises every day. Yeah. He doesn't have to move a whole football field in one day. I'm just going to keep on inching. That's what he does. Yeah. Yeah. Then 10 years from now, it's normal. Mental conformity. Just before I carry on to my next topic, I want to end it right there. Because, like I said, I just wanted this to be an introduction. If, I've, if I'm given any more opportunities to speak, I will just speak more and more on the insights. Thank you. Amen. You are set apart. Amen. 
Dr. Hallelujah.